Okay, so the video you're about to see is just, I was so pissed, man. This person just had bad intent. Didn't want to steal nothing, just wanted to destroy my gear. I know it was another hunter. So here's the remnants of my cell camera. So he couldn't get to it. So he just beat the thing to death. You can see it's all, it was all broken up. Like pieces were everywhere. Batteries are out. And my stand, I had a chain. So they just did whatever they could to get it down. They even shit, shoved stuff in my lock so I couldn't disconnect it. And you've seen all my steps. I had a lifeline there. They took that. They ripped everything down. They just ripped it down. They didn't steal a thing. They just do it on the ground. My lifeline they took. But everything else, they just literally threw it on the ground. And I, I just don't get it. I'm, I'm going to give up on that area. It's been getting bad the last couple of years anyway, so i got to find a new area. But uh, it's just so frustrating because I, I, I share my hunts. I let people hunt out of my stands. I share information. I help them. If they get a deal, and I don't, I don't care. I'm just not like that. And uh, just really, really frustrating what's been going on. So even this is broken. So that's it, Bullets and Brothers. I don't know what to tell you boys and girls, but that was my last hunt. I wanted to go to this spot. I didn't anticipate getting to be a deer, but my camera went down. It's a lost signal. Usually I, the batteries will, uh, will go down and I'll, that my uh, Apple tell me, you know, low battery. So my camera went dead a couple few weeks ago, and I was like, hmm, no signal, no nothing, just went out. Now I know why. But uh, I was in that air for what, seven, eight years maybe? Never had issues. I know it's public land, that's the risk you take, but that was just hateful, man. That was just hateful. So you see the video, watch it now, and uh, imagine walking into that. Just wanted a nice, relaxing hunt. I didn't bring any gear with me to go anywhere else for saddle hunting. I just wanted to go there, pull this camera. You know, who knows what would have happened, get a deer, but that didn't happen. So my last hunt was a non-hunt. So that's it. It's so frustrating. Let me know your experience, if you have experiences like this. Uh, it's real tough. Bullets and broadheads. Well, here's a stand I haven't hunted in about a month. It's one of my, I had to stand here. I was, I'm just very upset. <laughs> they brought everything down. And They bashed the hell out of my cell camera. Tried to destroy it. You see the batteries? Oh boy. Very disappointing. Oh boy. I think they broke this off. See the batteries are all over the place. Oh yeah, they destroyed it. It's gone actually. That sucks. Well, there is everything. That's how my last day of hunting went. Pretty screwed up, man. Pretty screwed up.